great. Keeps getting better. How many more bones will you crush? Now I'm the bad guy. She wouldn't even have a fly. Hopper, come on, come on, guys, I barely know her. Welcome back to Bug Review, and today we're going to be looking at Hopper from the 1998 film Ant's Life. Shout out to all the homies for suggesting Hopper and for everyone who voted for him on the poll. How good of a villain is Hopper? Let's break him down and find out. For those who don't know, Hopper is in charge of this gang of grasshoppers, right, who are also kind of like school bullies. And also a little bit like Nazis, if I'm being honest, like you can't tell me this whole scene does not feel like something straight out of World War II. So I don't know if you know this, but grasshoppers need food to survive. Fun fact, yeah. And instead of getting food themselves, he gets this idea, right? Let's just get the ants to get food for us because they're ants and nobody gives an F about those guys. The plan works too. However, one day when preparing their sacrifice to the grasshopper gods, this one ant named Flick accidentally destroys the food and now Hopper's kind of pissed. Yeah, it's a simple motive. Really, the man just wants to eat. The same feeling you get when you're craving a cheeseburger or like some spaghetti. Yeah, that's Hopper's motive in a nutshell. In reality, though, it is a little deeper than that because more so than food, Hopper wants to maintain control over the ants. The ants outnumber the grasshoppers by a lot and Hopper knows that. He knows that he has to instill fear or else the ants, they might, they might revolt and say, Hopper, you little bitch, get your own spaghetti. And that would make for a very hangry Hopper. The motive is a little simple, but this is Bugs Life we're talking about. It's not going to be crazy. If we were just going off of the food motive, honestly, even that's not that bad. It would be one thing if like Voldemort's whole thing in Harry Potter was getting a good meal. But Voldemort isn't a grasshopper. Also, fun fact, for bugs, food is kind of like their whole life, so it makes sense that this is a lot more important to them. Then again, though, some of them are in the circus, so like, and some of them run a spa, so maybe they have aspirations. Maybe Hopper just isn't really all that ambitious. Maybe he's a simple guy. The fact that he wants to keep the ants in line is a lot more interesting, though, and it helps put him a level above all the other grasshoppers. Please. Well, guess what? Just lost. One thing I'll say about Hopper is that he definitely has an intimidating presence in this movie, especially in the beginning. I think the design here is great, and when we see Hopper just towering over these ants, it really does feel like he's gonna just mess with them whenever he wants. When I was a kid, I was more terrified of Hopper than I was my parents getting divorced. That's how scary he is. That's how you know the villain's terrifying. Even though Hopper isn't in the movie a ton, especially in the first half, the man has a presence. And whenever the ants start slacking, I'm like, y'all better, y'all better hurry the F up because Hopper's gonna pull up with the strap and just go crazy. Another thing I like about Hopper is that he's also kind of intelligent, at least when it comes to, like I said, the other grasshoppers. The other grasshoppers at one point are like, bro, we don't even need to mess with the ants. But Hopper knows they have to keep bullying these ants in order to keep them from, from cooing, is that, that's how you say it, cooing, cooing, cooping, cooing, yeah. The dude is also cocky and really into himself, and he treats the ants like the service is almost entitled to him. He's also manipulative and, in general, kind of just gives off douchey, abusive ex-boyfriend vibes. All throughout the movie, though, his younger brother, Molt, is kind of just annoying, and Hopper doesn't kill him because he made a promise to their mother on her deathbed. It's a silly reason to explain why Hopper would keep Molt around, but it shows he's capable of some level of respect, and it does make him a little more interesting. Honestly, I feel like Molt only exists because without him, the grasshoppers would probably be too scary. No? Listen to this footage right here, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play it. Uh, Jamie, roll the clip. <laughs> Yes, those screams are of children at the show at Disneyland. Good luck sleeping tonight. Hopper's coming for you. Ah! Whose idea was this? Huh? As I said, Hopper doesn't really have a whole lot of scenes in this movie. He has his introduction, the spa scene, where's my food scene, and the end. That being said, while he might not have a lot of them, he makes every one count. I don't know if I'd say his introduction is the best scene, but I will say it's the most memorable. 
When I first saw I was reviewing Hopper, a shiver ran up my back and I collapsed onto the floor. Childhood memories of this scene traumatizing me until this day. The scene sets Hopper up as such a commanding and dominant presence and shows us just how important it is that the bugs get him his food on time. Or as I said, he's pulling up with the strap. The spa scene perfectly shows how much smarter Hopper is than the other grasshoppers, yet he still does have a twisted sense of humor. The ending scene is also quality because of the final confrontation between Hopper and Flick, both on the ground and in the air with all the lightning and rain and stuff say what you will about bugs life it's a good movie it's a bad movie but hopper is memorable there aren't really any throwaway scenes and every one he has either makes us more afraid of him or flushes him out just a little further as a villain rival squish him <laughs> If you look up Dick in the dictionary, you'll find a picture of Hopper and absolutely nothing else. All throughout this movie, Hopper is just awful to the ants, but since he's a villain, that's kind of a good thing. By the way, J Films does not endorse nor support ant abuse, the bug, or the relative. Just like certain bullies, you get the feeling Hopper enjoys what he does. Like, yeah, he wants to keep control, but that doesn't mean he has to, like, feed the little child ant to the crazy monster one. Not only is he a bully, but he's taking the ants' food, allegedly giving them protection, but this doesn't really feel like protection to me. Hopper is a despicable character, there is nothing redeeming about him, and honestly, it makes him a better villain. Screw you, Hopper, and your eyebrows. You ants have a nice summer. Let's ride! Yeah! <laughs> With Hopper, we get a simple motive and a simple origin, but he's a grasshopper, not someone out of freaking Shakespeare or anything like that. I forgot to mention the bird thing too, which does flush him out a little more, and now that I think about it, Rattlesnake Jake kind of just copies him there. I don't know, kind of interesting. He's an intimidating villain who gets the story going, and honestly, I think he enjoys being a jerk. He has the most memorable scene in the movie, and overall, he's just a really solid villain. I'm gonna give Hopper a 7. You let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think of Hopper? Who should I review next? Thanks for watching. My name is Films J, and have a great day.